This week, Nigeria's House of Representatives submitted a special security report to President Mahmoud Buhari. This report was the output from the National Security Summit that was organized in May. What is new in this security report and what is the next step? Babajid Ogusawu, data and information consultant, is here to share insights about the National Security Summit report. Thank you for being here on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm actually despite the traffic. Wow, terrible traffic this afternoon, I have to say. But nothing compared to what you're about to reveal to us in this new security report, right? Because the Office of the National Security Advisor, Minister of Defense, the Department of uh, Security, State Security, the National Intelligence Agency, everyone involved in, uh, in security uh, have given security updates to the president. So what are they telling him? What's he hearing? First, small progress is still progress. Tonight, regarding the reports, there's some good news and there's bad news. I'd like to start with the bad news. The bad news is if you pick up a copy of the report, there are three bad news that you'll see. The first is we still don't know exactly how many ethnic groups we have in the country. So in that report, it talks about over 250 ethnic groups. I think we're at the point where we have to be more specific to be able to know exactly how many ethnic groups are in Nigeria. That's the first bad news. The second bad news is, within the report, it talks about areas of focus, but there's still no rank to these areas of focus. And what do I mean? What exactly should be priority number one, two, three, four, five? That is not in that report. The third bad news is, Within the report, you see timelines, but these timelines are long-term timelines, 12 months to 24 months, Amarachi. In that report, you don't see timelines of one to three months, and that is what the Nigerian man wants. What exactly will happen, within to, will happen tomorrow and within the next 90 days? That is not available. We see timelines, but they are long-term timelines, no short-term timelines. Those are the bad news to the good news. The first good news is this report was not just done based on the opinion of members of the House of Representatives. It was based on opinion from traditional leaders, security professionals, experts, philosophers. So what we see is we see a comprehensive report. Within this report as well, we see that the House of Representatives presented to Buari what should be the focus of the executive government and what the executive should focus on. Those were 19 items, and they've also identified seven things that they want to focus on. And finally, the report identifies for a lot of Nigerians who can't read that 146-page report, four areas that summarize the exercise that the House of Representatives did in May this year when they had that national um, summit. And if we focus on those four areas, which summarizes this entire security report, here's what the House of Representatives identified as the most important critical areas that it wants the country to focus on. The first is, it talks about local and community policing. And this time around, we're looking at not just state-led policing, we're looking at local government areas playing bigger roles in policing. Second is strategic kinetic national security operations. In simple terms, they are looking at the military getting an additional 300,000 soldiers. They are considering um, the country having private security contractors, what some will call mercenaries, but they are saying that mercenaries should come in only for the short-term um, purposes. They are also considering 40,000 special policemen, 1,000 in each state. That is the second point, strategic kinetic national security solutions. The House of Representatives also talked about global perspectives and international factors. And what they mean by that is better partnership within African nations, especially the West African region where we are, economic community of West African state ECOWAS. <clears throat> they also talked about the Lake Chad Basin. They talked about partnerships, international partnerships. And there's this new, relatively new um, idea, the, green, the Great Green Wall, oh. which is being able to plant um, more trees and renew um, the green spaces. And finally, non-military and non-kinetic security, security options and solutions. And what they are looking at are things like food security, um, job creation. So they are talking about creating a state or declaring a state of emergency on job creation, minimizing poverty and infrastructure. So in summary, these are the four things that the House of Representatives presented to the President in their report. And they are saying, Mr. President, focus on 19 areas 
and let's focus, that's the House of Representatives, they want to focus on seven areas. So a multidimensional approach, but which one is the most important to them? I mean, the representatives. For them, um, that is, that's the challenge. Um, nothing was ranked, so we talked about, we had a broad area, but one of the things that they really mentioned, um, which reoccurred in that report, was the Nigerian police. So clearly, they want the Nigerian police to be reformed. They're talking about state policing, local government policing. They've even suggested that the name of the Nigerian police force should be changed to the Nigerian police service, which I think is... Um, oh. Well, they, they have changed their name, I think, uh, uh, in recent past, uh, from the Nigeria Police Force to the Nigeria Police. So, so what else changes? So they are talking about the Nigerian Police Service, and there are other good, good recommendations that um, are in that report. So in all, small progress is still progress. Yeah, but you know the House is, is, I mean, the House is usually divided. People usually, you know, make decisions based on party lines. Was that the case? You know, in this report. In this report, I didn't get that sense. Um, there was no mention of APC, PDP. So it doesn't seem to be a partisan report. It seems to be and based on recommendations from a lot of stakeholders. And um, so that is a check. That's a positive. But what's missing in this report is I still didn't get that sense that this report was driven by science, driven by data. Because the data really also, the examination of data allows us to understand and points us to the solution. I would like to talk about what um, Vivredo um, Pareto, who created the Pareto Principle, talked about, which is often, most times, 80% of our problems are caused by 20% of the instances. And if you take a look at even the data, which speaks to it, which states in Nigeria do we have the most terrorist attacks? What you'll notice is since the Boko Haram started in 2002, there have been 5,000 events of terror, 5,000 terrorist attacks in the country since 2002. But here's the catch. Looking at that Pareto principle, 80% of these attacks have happened in 20% of the states. Again, I repeat, 80% of terrorist attacks in Nigeria have happened in only 20% of the states. And if we look at those states, those are the states in front of us where we will also want the House of Representatives, the Senate, and even the government to focus on. We're looking at Bono, Adamawa, Yobe State, Benue State, Plateau State, Kaduna, Kano State, and in the South-South, Rivers, Delta, Bielsa. Now, this information is, has been audited by the Global Terrorism Database. And if we understand that it's important for every Nigerian, every citizen living in every part of the country to be safe, but in terms of tactics and strategy, we need to follow the science, follow the data, and focus on the areas that are most problematic. Again, 80% of terrorist attacks have happened in 20% of Nigerian states. In summary, the report presented by the House of Representatives to President Buhari is a good report. It's shown that there's small progress, but like a wise man said, small progress is still progress. Oh, nice place to, to live it there. Thank you again for giving us something to think about this evening. Pleasure is all mine, Amarachi.